Hello everyone. Good morning all of you. Good morning sir. Good morning sir. Yeah, very good morning everyone. Very good morning. Yes. Good morning sir. Yeah, very good morning. Are you able to see my screen clearly? Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Okay. Can you hear me clearly? Yes. Yes, sir. All right. All right. So, how was your weekend? Was that good? Yes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. Okay. Shall we start the class? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Let's start our class. I am going to mute all of you for avoiding background disturbances. Let's continue. Okay, all right. Let's open AWS. AWS console, log back in. Just click on next. Unable to understand this guy. HTS M seven C. Okay, successfully we have entered inside of AWS account. Our instance is running in Mumbai. Just to select AC2. This is the instance. Right now it is in stopped position. Just to select instance. Instance is at start. At the time of doing projects, first project and the second project. So each and every tool I will integrate. Ansible, Docker, Jenkins, Git, Maven, all these tools I will integrate. At the time of attending interviews also, first project, the second project, as it is, you have to explain to the interview. Just to select instance edit. Let's go. Yes, it is iPhone user at the rate DNS. Control C. Open. Control B. Plus button, authentication, browse, PPK file. Which one? Mumbai get PPK file. Just click on open. Again, just click on open. That's it. Just click on accept. All right. Right now, I am an easy to iPhone user. First, what we have to do? You have to switch from normal user to administrator. Sudo su super user to switch user. I mean, make me as a root user. I would like to switch from easy type and user to root user. All right. Once if I type ls, here you can see this is our local repository. Like this, you can create any number of folders. For example, here you can see this is one folder. 
I can create one more folder. For example, MK Daya. Let's imagine. This is the name I have given. My name, MK Daya Hari. Just to press enter. I have created this folder called Hari. Once if I type ls, here you can see. This is one folder already we made Mumbai Git folder as a local repository. But just now we have created one more folder. That folder name is Hari. Here. In case if you want to make this Hari folder as a Git local repository, what you can do, you can go inside of inside of Hari. After that, what you can do, Git init. This is the command you just execute. After executing, this Hari folder will become Git local repository. For example, if you want to attach, let me open GitHub. Here you can see github.com. What you can do, for example, if you want to create one more repository, one repository means one project, one project means one repository. Please remember, if you want to create one more project, you just select here, new. You can give any name. Once after creating, new, new repository will be created. For this new repository, you have one new URL. URL means for example, something like this. URL means once if I select here, you can see HTTPS, GitHub.com, Hari25CS, Central Depository, February, like that. One more new URL will be created. That new URL, where you can execute, here you can execute. Here you can execute. Once after executing git init command, you can execute here git add origin that complete url you can execute that means mumbai git folder is attached with this repository exactly the same way hari folder hari local repository will be attached to some other repository which is available here like that you can attach each and every repository url to one particular folder like that, you can you can add any number. There is no limit. So that is how things will work. Just to come out. Let me delete rm minus rf. Which one? Hurry. You no need to type complete command, complete name. H. Just press tab. Automatically it will come. At the time of pressing tab, automatically you can see last slash. E Slash it is coming. For example, normally if you type, normally if I type like this only, you can see. If you press tab, last you can see forward slash. Both are exactly same. Both are exactly same. Always better to use tab. So your work will be very, very simple, easy. Just press enter. Successfully, we have deleted. Here. Git commands will not work here because I did not make easy to iPhone user folder as a Git local repository. Which one we may Mumbai Git. So that is the reason. Go inside. CDM. Just press tab. Automatically it will come. Order. Once if I type ls, here you can see instead of this Mumbai Git folder, we have created these many files. That is a Git log. Normally, if I type git log, you can see lengthy output. Enter, enter, enter. Like this, you have to enter. What are the lines are available? Everything, it will show like this. Enter, 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 enter. Normally, if you type git log, see how many lines are there? Last end means just press Q. Automatically, we will come out. But I would like to see everything in a short output. Did you remember the command? Git log hyphen hyphen one line. This is not online. One means in a one line output it will show. So that easily we can see and we can we can understand. That is the meaning. Control L for clearing this. Now here, what we will do is. 
today we will discuss about tax today there is one concept called tax just one minute Today we will discuss about the tax. Get, get the tax. T A G tax. Tax is singular word. Tax plural. Here, what is the meaning of tax? Already you know. For example, my name is Hari. This is my tax. If I don't have any name, how people can call me? How people can recognize me? That is not possible. That is the reason my parents given me one name that is Hari. So this is here my tag identification. For example, so far we have been creating so many computers, so many EC2 instances. For each and every EC2 instance, each and every computer, we have given one meaningful name. That meaningful name here we call it as tag. For example, if you go to any shopping mall, you can see, you can see so many t-shirts. You can see so many pants. For each and every t-shirt, you can see one price tag. By looking at the price tag, you can understand what is the price of that particular t-shirt. Otherwise, maybe pant. It could be anything. By looking at the pant price tag, you can see, you can understand that cost, cost of that particular pant. Tag means that is a identification. That is a meaningful name so that we can understand it clearly. Exactly the same way here. Now, today we are going to discuss about tax in Git concept, Git tax. First of all, here, how we are going to use, what is the purpose? Once if I execute this command, Git log, hyphen hyphen one line here you can see so many commit ids are available so many commit ids are available i mean from here to here all these are commit ids all these are commit messages all these are commit ids and all these are commit messages if you want to see file and the data, what is the data which is available instead of that file? What you have to do? You have to refer this commit ID. File, file, I mean file name, file along with the data, everything is available instead of this commit ID. You have to refer that commit ID. Commit ID is like a transaction ID. See guys, till this commit ID, please observe, till this commit ID. Till this commit ID, all these are available in master as well as new branch. Master as well as new branch. Okay, till here, till this commit ID. But from here to here, from here to here, all these, all these commit IDs, otherwise, all these commit messages. Commit IDs means commit ID, file name, file content, commit messages, everything. Everything just we call it as always we. We try to refer always committed. All these things are available only in master branch. Okay, that is the reason here you can see only master. Head always refers latest committed in that current branch. I mean master. Here you can see slash origin slash master. That means till this commit ID. Till this commit ID, everything, everything is synced in that central repository. Here, origin means that is a nick, that is a short name. Okay. That is a short name for that central repository you are origin. Master means instead of central repository, there is one branch. That branch is default branch. What is that branch name? Master. Here, master means this is local local repository master branch this is central repository master branch as of now here you can see so many commit ids are available out of these commit ids out of these commit ids let's imagine for my work purpose 
this commit id this commit id maybe for example this commit id these commit ids are very very important whatever the code i have written instead of these commit ids this this code frequently i i frequently here i would like to refer frequently i would like to refer okay for each and every scenario for each and every situation at the time of writing each and every logic it is like a reusable code reusable means same code you can use multiple times reusability let's imagine for me this commit id this commit id and this commit id these three commit ids are very very important because instead of these three commit ids what are the code i have written i would like to refer that code frequently every day as of now here you can see almost 15 to 20 commit ids let's imagine here you can see maybe 500 commit ids otherwise maybe 100 commit ids let's imagine out of this 100 commit ids otherwise out of this 500 commit ids is it possible to recognize those three important commit ids maybe three otherwise maybe five otherwise maybe ten is it possible to recognize those ten commit ids even though if you give meaningful commit message but still it is not possible to recognize immediately you have to search you have to search like this i mean it will take so much of time correct or not like this for example this is one folder this is one folder instead of this folder let's imagine i have created one folder in my computer otherwise you have created one folder instead of your computer you are a movie lover you would like to watch so many movies instead of this folder if i put english movies hindi movies telugu movies kannada movies hmm? japanese movies at the time of searching it will take so much of time correct or what you can do how you can simplify this one you just create different different folders in this folder only english movies in this folder only hindi movies if you do like this search operation will be very very simple if you want to see any english movie if you want to watch any english movie you just open this folder you can search you can find out easily exactly here also so many commit ids are available out of 100 commit ids i just want to refer frequently maybe 10 commit ids maybe 10 commit ids i would like to refer even though if you give meaningful message still it will take so much of time for identifying those 10 commit ids out of this 100 commit ids in this scenario what we can do here whatever the commit ids you think very very important for my work all those commit ids you can give one meaningful name giving one meaningful name for these 10 commit ids here we call it as tags git tags tag means one com one one tags means multiple here 10 for example if it is only one commit id then generally i can write to tag here i will give for this commit id for this commit id like that so what is the meaning of tag giving one meaningful name for each and every particular commit id you no need to give tag for each and every commit id out of these commit ids how many commit ids are very very important for you how many commit ids you want to refer frequently for those commit ids you can do i mean what are the commit ids you think very very important for your work frequently what are the commit ids you would like to refer let's see how can we assign tag as of now this is the command we have to execute git because we are using git software tag tag means giving one meaningful name hyphen a what is the meaning of hyphen a a means here name tag name which name you would like to give for example imp 
hyphen a this is the flag i have given this is the name tag name if you want to provide a tag name you have to give hyphen a is the flag next space hyphen m hyphen m means it is like a tag message tag name as well as a tag message what is the tag message i can give something like this hyphen m means message which message which message you would like to give my underscore imp underscore cmt cmt means commit this is the short name just i have given commit for which commit id let's imagine here you can see one commit id for this commit id i would like to assign one tag you just copy and here you just paste that's it just press enter what is the meaning of this one git because we are using git software tag i would like to give one meaningful name that one only here we call it as tag hyphen a means what is the meaning of hyphen a hyphen a means tag name this is the tag name for providing this tag name you have to give here hyphen a next hyphen a means tag message what you want to give you can give anything as of now here for example i have given something like this you even you can give normally hyphen you can give underscore you can give space also you can give without the space also you can give anything you can do there is no problem how you can remember how you can recognize you can follow that format last you have to give commit id for which commit id you would like to give tag name or tag message just press enter successfully we have given by looking this output it is not possible to identify easily correct or not once if i execute like this so i have given one tag how to verify how to identify again if i execute git tag here it will show total how many tags we have given here you can see this is the tag git tag we have given only one tag that is the reason here you can see this one imp means for example it is like a important important if i execute this command git log hyphen hyphen one like here easily you can identify out of these commit ids as of now i am thinking this commit id is very very important for me that is the reason what i have done i have given tag what is the tag name imp like this easily you can identify correct am even you can see different color yellow here once if you provide a tag like this it is possible to identify easy like this now i would like to see the file i would like to see the data git show normally what we do git show that commit id we copy and we paste here here now what i will do is tag name i will provide what is the tag name we have given imp i mean here i am referring tag i am referring tag name tag name internally refers to commit id instead of this commit id that file name file data all the details are available for example if i give commit id directly i am referring commit id and it will open what are the details are available instead of that commit id but here what we are doing this a tag attached to this commit id otherwise this commit id attached to this tag i am referring this tag tag internally refers to this commit id so it is like this just a present tag i am referring this tag tag name here you can see tag is imp tagger who is the tagger who has assigned this tag to this commit id sai is the person assigned tagger he, who is the tagger sai is the tagger and his mail id all the details you can see today when he has assigned february 28 today february 28 monday you can see all the details and this is 
tag message. Next, this tag is attached to this committed. Here also you can see this tag. IMP. All the details. This is commit message. And what is the file name? File name here you can see. Either here you can see. Otherwise, here also you can see. What is the data which is available instead of this file? This is SAM LE. This is the this is the data which is available instead of this file. This is how you can assign. Control L for clearing the space. Next, for example, if you want to delete like this, like this, you can assign five to six commit IDs. It is not recommended to assign each and every commit ID. Whatever you think very, very important, it is recommended to assign a few tags out of these many tags, out of these many commit IDs. Okay. In companies, we use. In companies, we use whatever I am explaining here, each and every concept we will use in our companies. If you want to delete, yes, very well, you can delete. Git attack hyphen D. Hyphen D is the flag you have to give. Next, you just provide tag name, IMP. Just press enter. Successfully deleted tag. Only whatever the tag we have assigned, that tag just we have deleted. But there is no problem for our commit IDs. If you want to see git log hyphen hyphen one line, again, okay, you cannot see that tag because we have assigned, after that we have deleted. You can assign, you can delete. You can do all these operations. There is no problem. Control A. This is a very, very simple concept, assigning tag, giving, giving meaningful name for commit ID. Now, we will discuss about GitHub. GIT GitHub. GitHub is central repository. This GitHub is belongs to Microsoft company. Previously, it was created GitHub community people. Later, Microsoft company people, they have acquired. Right now, this is belongs to Microsoft company. Okay. Now, just observe here. GitHub. This is local repository. This is local repository. I mean, this is folder. Inside of this folder, you can see three parts. Workspace. Workspace, staging area, or index area, or buffer area. This is local repository. See, local repository means till here you can consider. Till here you can consider. Otherwise, what you can do, local repository means till here also you can consider because this complete folder is available where instead of one computer. For example, Sai is working. This complete folder is available where instead of one computer. This is like a Sai is local repository. Till here you can consider, otherwise till here also you can consider. Okay. This complete folder is belongs to one person. One person is work, workspace, staging area, local report. As of now, this is one local report. So here generally what we do, you already know. In this workspace, we create some files. We write some data. Otherwise we modify that content that data. After that, what we do? We, we add, we send that file along with the data to staging area or index area or buffer area. Git will take the snapshot. Snapshot means backup. Which kind of backup? Incremental backup. After that, what we do? We will do commit process. At the time of doing commit process, what will happen? So all those commits, everything, 
will be available instead of branch. For example, how many branches are available here? Two branches. One is master branch, default branch. Master branch means by default, this branch got created. Another branch, it is like a new branch. We have created one more branch called new. These are the two branches are available. So in this scenario, generally, that complete work, that complete writing the code, everything after that, after that adding to staging area, then commit to process, everything we do, I mean R and D work, research and development, R and D work, everything we do, after that we do commit, here we do commit, commit, I mean some other branches, once after doing commit, so finally, if you think whatever the code written by you, if you think it is working good without having any mistakes, without having any problems, then finally you can send, you can push to, you can merge to this master branch. So once if you merge, so finally here, all committed is content files, everything will be available in this master branch. Okay. Once after merging, after that, what you can do? Now, this is central report. Central repository. This is central repository. Instead of the central repository, as of now, how many branches are available? Only one branch is available. That is master branch. This is like a branch. This branch is master. See, by default, local repository also we have master branch. Central repository also we have master branch. Master means don't think like this master branch will control some other branches. No, it is not like that. Even you can merge. Even you can do R&D work in this master branch. You can merge this master branch to some other branches. You can do like that. But in companies, we follow best practices. Okay. It is not like whatever the way you like, I will do that work. No, things will not work. For example, if you go to main road, okay, if you want to drive the car, if you want to drive the bike, is it possible to jump whatever you like? Is it possible to go? Is it possible to jump the signals? Is it possible to do everything? No, we have to follow traffic rules. Correct, Anna? We have, to run, we have to follow some kind of traffic rules, protocols, procedure. Everything we have to follow. Otherwise, the police, traffic police people, they will stop you. Here also exactly the same thing. In companies, everything we do, R&D in some other branches. Finally, we merge all those branches into master branch. From this master, here you can see, from this master to this master, we will push. We will push the code. Once if I push the code, what will happen? All files, all files along with the data will be available here. Will be available here. All those commit IDs will be coming into here. All those commit IDs. These are like a commit IDs. These are like a files. It is, it is like this. You just have a, for example, here. You can see these are, these are commit IDs. These are files. These are commit messages. I mean like this. Everything, everything will come here. Everything will be available here in this central department. First of all, what is the purpose of local repository? Local repository means you can create a new file. You can write some data. You can modify the data. All these operations you can do. Okay. All these operations you can do in your local repository. But when it comes to this central repository, what is the purpose? Purpose is here only store, storing and sharing. Only storing and sharing. Store means what you are storing here. Yes, I am storing here code, files along with the files, code, file along with the content. I am storing these files. I am storing these committees. Okay, like this. Sharing means, for example, 
let's imagine five people are working in our project maybe tomorrow one new person will be joined will be will be joined in into, into our company our project once after joining that person what we can do we can share what you can say share here you can share all these files with him all these committed is with him so that he can open all those files he can understand okay existing people what they have written what are the syntaxes they have followed by using which programming language otherwise by using which scripting language they have written this code all the details he can understand new person that is the meaning of sharing sharing with new people other people sharing with our team members so central depository purpose is only for storing the data as well as sharing the data not to create not to modify no no not like that okay only for storing as well as sharing yeah but in the central repository also it is possible to create new branch for example in the central repository also it is possible to create a new branch you can give any name for example let me give as sai in the central repository also it is possible to create a new branch instead of this new branch it is possible to create a new file instead of that file it is possible to write some data it is possible to modify some data here also commit id is here also we can it is possible to do commit i mean everything here also possible but we should not do why because that is not a best practice in company we always we follow best practices all options are available in the central repository also you can create branch you can create file you can write some data you can modify data even you can do commit commit id will be generated commit message also you can do everything is possible here also but here you should not do it. here we should not do okay because we have some procedure always we have to follow that procedure after drinking also i can drive the car but we should not do like this because that is not good that is danger for our lives exactly the same way here also everything is everything is possible but we should not do why means that is a rule we have to follow in company everyone we follow exactly now here what we will do is i will show you how to create how to create one new branch in the central repository how to create file and how to do commit process and how to write the content everything i will show you okay before that one for example here if you delete something in this local repository in this local repository i am talking about if you delete any file here in this local repository that respective commit id will be available by using that respective commit id complete data it is possible to get back i mean your code is always very very safe and very very secure even though you delete any file that respective commit id it is not possible to delete that respective commit id always it will be available with the help of that commit id what you can do you can get back complete code in this central repository you should not work but options are there but options are there to work now we will see how to create all these things in this central repository also i just want to show you let me clear the screen in the interview they will ask you all these things this is our central repository this is the name we have given you can do any name as of now here you can see 10 commit ids if you want to if you want to take url what is the url of this central repository here you can see this is the url https i will show you https here you can see github.com next here you can see hari 25 cs central repository february 18th i mean this is the name next 2022 730 am.git this is the url 
Next. Here you can see as of now one branch. Only one branch. Here you can see that branch name is master. By default branch name is here master. All right. Let me create one new branch. How to create? Here, you just select. Once if I select, did you observe? Find or create a branch. I just want to create one new branch. You can give any name. For example, I would like to give Sai. Yes, here, I give Sai. Did you observe here? Create branch Sai from master. Create branch Sai from master. That means same concept. When it comes to local repository, otherwise central repository, whenever you try to create a new branch, first time, at the time of creating new branch, first time, everything will be copied. Everything will be copied. Okay. Commit IDs, complete data, everything. From second time onwards, those two are completely separate branches. Sai from master. That means whatever the commit IDs are available in this master branch, everything will be copied. Where you have to select, you just select here itself. Once if I select here, successfully we have created. Did you see branch created and already copied? Right now I am in, see, as of now, how many branches you can see? Two branches. Right now I am in Sai branch. Instead of the Sai branch also, you can see 10 commit IDs, all these files and all these commit messages because everything already copied. That is the reason. If you want to switch it to master branch, you just select. Once if I keep my cursor here, switch branches or tags, just select. Just click here. Did you observe? Default. Default branch is master branch. Once if I select master, you can see all the details related to this master branch. If I select Sai, all these details related to Sai branch. So this is how it will work. Now, I would like to create one file instead of the Sai branch. Now I am in Sai branch. Here you can see which branch you are in currently. How can you do that one? Here you can see some of the options. Go to file. I mean, already if you have any file, you can you can refer that file. Add a file. Once if I select, you can, if you want to upload, you can upload files. Okay. Files, if files are available in your computer. Otherwise, very well, you can create a new file. Let me create one new file. I just want to create one new file. Here you can see name your file. You can give any name. For example, Sai file. You can give any name. There is no problem. Whatever you want to write, here you just write. For example, here. I am writing one small code snippet. Okay. Don't worry what I am writing here. This is for example, Java code. You no need to, you no need to think, you no need to think about this one. Hey, what Hari is writing here. Okay. This is completely Java related code. How to write the code? I mean, code means scripting language. How to write a scripting language? Everything I will tell you in our coming classes at the time of explaining about Ansible. Ansible and Terraform and all those things we will see. As of now, here I am just writing two to three lines of code, nothing more. What I am writing, you don't need to think about this one.
I have written something like this. Okay. Written something like this. Don't think about this one. Hey, Hari, what you have written? We are not understanding. You no need to understand. Okay. I have written just some code. You just forget about this one. You no need to think about this one. Later, we'll discuss about this one. Something I have written. Sorry. Once after writing the code, once after writing the code, what you can do? Just come down. Just come down. Here you can see, commit new file. If you want to provide any description, you can provide. My, what? My work purpose, okay? You can write some comment. Even this comment also just optional. Once after doing all these things, here you can see commit in new file. Just click on this one. Just click on this one. Here you just observe commit directly to the SAI branch. As of now, as of now, how many commit IDs are available? 10 commit IDs already we have seen. Once if I select here, one more extra commit ID will be available. That is the reason here you can see 11 commit IDs. If I switch it to master branch, in this master branch, you can see only 10 committed. If I switch it to SAI branch, but here you can see one more extra committed. Only first time everything will be copied from next time onwards. Two are completely two different branches. And here one more thing is available. When it comes to these, Central repository. In the central repository, actually here, it is like this. Here, it is like a, we are creating the file and we are writing some data. Below here, that respective file content, commit ID will be available here. Okay, let's see. Here, we don't have any concept called in the central repository taking here. First of all, only two areas. Those are, this is like a workspace and this is like a local, this is like a, this is like a here central deposit. Central deposit. Instead of the central depository, you can see branches. This is one branch. This is one more branch like that. This is master and this is like a SAI. You can create any number of branches here also. But here we don't have any concept called staging area. Staging area concept is not available in this central repository. I mean, separate area is not available, but internally by default, at the time of doing this commit process, below here, I have selected one green button, just one minute back. At the time of selecting that one, when you commit by default, that is snapshot also will be taken. Okay. Get already took the snapshot. Here we don't have any separate area called staging area or index area or buffer area. When Git will take the snapshot at the time of doing commit, at the time of doing this commit, in that time only, Git will take the snapshot. Okay. This is how it will work. Here you can see only these two things. Even virtually also, you cannot see that staging area or index area. When it will take the snapshot in the central repository at the time of doing this commit process, at the time of generating that commit ID, that time only Git will take the snapshot. Which snapshot? Snapshot means backup. Which backup? Incremental backup, not whole backup. Please remember. All right. Everything we have done. Here also, at the time of creating new branch, everything will be copied. Everything will be copied. From next time onwards, that is completely different. Branches are different. Here also, it is possible to do merge operation. 
Yes. These are the two branches as of now here. This is one branch. This is like a master. This is like a master. Two branches. This is like a another branch called Sai. This term we have created. Instead of the Sai branch, so many files are available. And here you have seen so many commit IDs are available. Total here, how many commit IDs are available? 11 commit IDs in the Sai branch. But when it comes to this master, here you can see some of the files. And here you can see commit IDs. Here, total, how many commit IDs are available? 10. I mean, one extra commit ID is available in this SAI branch. That extra commit ID is not available in this master branch. Now, what we will do? We will like to perform merge operation. Merge operation means already, you know. Merge operation means here. It is like a pulling. Where you want that new commit ID, I want that new commit ID in this master branch. That is the reason. First you go, first you enter instead of this master branch. First you just enter instead of this master branch. After that, you just perform pull operation. Once if you perform pull operation, whatever the extra commit ID, whatever the extra file which is available in this SAI branch, that extra commit ID will be coming into this master branch. Merge. -E M-E-R-G. Okay, let's do. Let's perform this merge operation. And one more thing. At the time of performing this merge operation, here we have to follow two steps. First step is create pull request. C-R-E-A-T-E. -E, create pull request. Pull request. Sorry guys, my handwriting is not good. From childhood onwards, my handwriting is like this only. I cannot do anything with my handwriting. I think you people can understand. Can understand my handwriting. Hmm? Create a pull request. First, we have to do. First, we have to perform this system. And the second one is, after creating pull request, we have to merge that pull request. M-E-R-G, merge. Merge pull request. Merge pull request. Create pull request means it is like a Placing an order. PLAC. Place. Place an order. What do you mean by order here? You people, sometimes, you may use Flipkart, otherwise Amazon, hmm? some kind of online shoppings. You can place some kind of products. Correct on Place. Place an order. For example, today you have placed one order in Amazon. Maybe you would like to buy a new laptop. Placing an order. Pull request means pull request means it is like a place an order. Merge pull request means it is like a, for example, executing that order. Executing that order. I mean, you just imagine like this. You just come back so that you can understand clearly. Pull create pull request means it is like a place an order. Merge pull request means it is like a executing that particular order. These are the two steps here we have to follow. So how to perform? Let's see here. How to perform? First, what you have to do? First, go instead of master branch, not Sai branch. Because I want that new extra commit ID into this master branch. Here you can see, right now I am in master branch, correct? Here you can see compare and pull request. Compare means you can compare and it will create a pull request. You just select here. When it comes to the central repository, everything is GUI option. By looking these English words, easily you can understand. Here you don't need to execute any kind of commands, nothing. Just select. It has a compact. Did you observe here? Base, master, compare size. I mean, able to match. 
you can see arrow symbol also from sai to master did you did you observe this arrow symbol from where to where from sai to master able to merge these branches can be automatic automatically merged now here if you want to if you want to write something even here also you can write something okay there is no problem just click on create pull request that's it once after creating this pull request what you have to do you have to merge you just come down come down here you can see merge that pull request just click on here even here also if you want to write any comment yes very well you can write why you want to merge okay what is the reason here also it is possible to write some comment this is just optional if you want to write you just write otherwise you no need to write just click on merge pull request are you sure yes i am sure i would like to confirm yes here you just click on confirm that's it merge pull request successfully merged and closed just go here select our repository did you observe once after merging here you can see 12 commit ids in this master but once if i select sai there you can see only 11 commit ids why one more extra commit id you can see in that master branch because at the time of doing merge operation one more new commit id will be generated that is the reason here you can see total 12 commit ids recent commit id when we have done i mean 34 seconds ago we have done this merge operation this is the latest commit id here you can see only seven characters if you want to see complete commit id you just select here once if i select here you can see that complete commit id yeah here you can see very well like this very well you can do as of now here you can see so many options projects means repositories once if i select projects each and every project is one repository i mean very recently they have created so many options just to select hari 25 cs here you can see total how many repositories 20 almost 19 repositories this is like a one repository this is another repository this is one more repository i mean one repository means one project that is the meaning as of now where is our repository as of now where is our repository initially they did not implement these many options because of market competition they are every day they are updated not not every day i can say sometimes not only this website for example you people know about facebook two years ago if you open that facebook website maybe we were able to see 50 options that facebook website today if you open that facebook website so many new new options you can see correct or not because of market competition each and every company each and every website each and every business people they are updating their websites like this so here you can see this is our report just click on this all right here very very important option is fork option this fork option later i will tell you how to use what to hmm, when in which scenario we have to use as of now these are just for showcase purpose we never use all these options what if that new option we use and here you can see settings just click on settings for example if you want to delete if you want to delete what you can do here you can see settings option you just select the settings once after selecting you can see our repository name just to come down if in case if you want to delete 
last you just to see here delete this repository just to select and delete this repository once after selecting you can see this kind of pop up message are you absolutely sure in case if you want to delete what you have to do you have to copy please type they have given one meaningful message hey hari please type from here to here copy control c and here control v control once after doing it will even hyphen also yeah here you can see even hyphen also after giving hyphen it has enabled once if i select i understand the consequences delete this repository that means this repository will be deleted permanent so this is how if you want to delete in case yes very well we can delete but in companies we never delete options are there but we never use okay all right now we will discuss about very very two important concepts let me open please concentrate everyone for example if you join any new company new company i mean new company means instead of that company you can see so many projects you have selected for one project that project is very new project that project is starting with you only i mean you are the first person you are the first person going to start work in that project i mean everything you have to do complete setup you are the first per person working in that project maybe tomorrow day after tomorrow of hmm, remaining people the company people they will recruit some other people into that project but you are the first project you are you are the first person to work in that project in that scenario what you can do normally see here new project let's imagine you have selected one company in that company multiple projects are available out of those projects there is one project that is new project that the project is starting with you only you are the first person working that is the meaning of here new project that means you have to create computer so how to create computer already you know already we know ec2 instance computer means nowadays you know each and every company people maximum they are using aws you can create computer you can give one meaningful name mumbai mumbai ec already already we have created okay let's name then what you can do instead of this one you can create one folder that folder you have to create into three stages three parts you have to divide this is like a folder you are dividing into three parts workspace workspace staging area as well as local repository let's imagine according to your work requirement you have created one file you have written some data after that what you have done you have done add process so git will take the snapshot for this file along with the data after that you have done commit then that file along with the data commit id got generated after that what you have to do you have to create a central repository i mean you have to open github account there you have to provide your with the help of your office email id you have to create one account central repository you have to create hmm. once after creating with your project project name you can 
create one repository okay with your project for example it is like a project means for example at&t british telecom otherwise related to bsnl airtel maybe it could be any company it could be samsung it could be mobile companies otherwise uh, laptop companies hmm? it could be food companies it could be anything zomato swiggy uber ola maybe bank hmm? hsbc related to that name you can create one repository as of now we have created we have given just a simply this name if your project is related to bank for example let's imagine you are working in icic bank project so you can create one repository with the icic bank name it is like this let's imagine you have created once after creating first what you have to do did you remember first you have to add this central repository url to local repository you have to add what you have to add url which url the central repository url url you have to add to this local repository then the central repository url will be stored into this local repository once after completing this add process after that what you can do very well you can do push operations very well you can do push operations p u s h push once if i push once if you push what will happen that file along with the data will be available here that respect to commit id will be available here in the central repository if it is a new project you have to do everything from the scratch i mean everything you have to do how we have done practicals in our git for example if you if you join any existing project existing project means so many people are already available people already created central repository they have been working in that project since so many months otherwise so many years if you join into existing project their scenario will be already the central repository is available the central repository central repository this is like a existing repository existing existing repository existing means already available so many developers so many devops engineers so many testing engineers they have been working i mean here you can see so many files people are working already people created so many files n number of files here you can see in front of this files see what you can see code it could be any code let's imagine already eight devops engineers are working eight devops engineers they have created these files in front of these files they have written scripting language for these files related to these files commit id is here you can see in front of the central repository everything you can see files related to that particular commit id in this scenario let's imagine you have joined newly you have joined today is your first day let's imagine what you have to do here you have to create one computer with the help of cloud for example ec2 hyphen ec2 instance ec2 instance once after creating computer instead of that computer you no need to do anything okay you just create one computer this is your computer computer you have created successfully that is okay here you just execute only one simple command you are going to execute one simple command that is clone c l o n e clone cloning clone operation this is clone c l o n e clone once if you execute one single command where in your computer what will happen whatever the files whatever the commit id is complete data which is available in this in this repository that complete data will be coming into your computer 
here you just create one computer after that what you can do no need to do anything just to simply execute one command that is clone git clone now we will see practical also once after executing this command first of all what will happen is here instead of your computer instead of your computer this central repository you work i mean with that repository name one folder will be created instead of central repository repository is available instead of this central repository so many repositories are available for example let's take this is our repository name with this name yeah with this name one folder will be created where instead of your computer once after executing this clone command one folder will be created automatically this folder will be divided into three parts you no need to do automatically everything will be done this folder automatically will be divided into three parts workspace staging area local repository by default how many branches are available in that repository all those branches also will be available okay once after completing what are the files here you can see all these files will be coming into in this workspace area okay automatically everything will perform i mean you no need to do anything even all those snapshots will be available here in this staging area all commit ids will be coming into this local repository workspace and the local repository only we can see physically staging area it is not possible to see physically even not only this one this folder i told you right this folder here instead of your computer automatically dot git folder will be created dot git means that is a local repository once after executing this command what will happen instead of your computer one folder will be created i mean dot git that local repository will be created that folder will be divided into three parts after that these files the commit id is everything will be coming instead of that folder everything will be coming instead of this folder so this is the meaning of existing project once after executing this clone operation all files will be coming into your computer so recently you have joined you don't know what to write and how to write i mean normally you know how to write the scripts for example ansible but especially in this project how people are following what kind of mechanism and i mean what are the syntaxes they are following hmm? what are the rules and the regulations they are following if you want to understand what you can do once after executing this clone command all those files will be coming into your computer you just open each and every file and you just observe okay how people already they have written so that you can understand after that if you want to write yes very well you can write after understanding all these files so you can remember those syntaxes and everything later you can start your work according to according to your work requirement let's do the practicals here once after cloning let's imagine you understood very well and you have created new file after that what we what you will do you will add that file along with the data after that again you will do commit process hmm? so commit id will be generated later you will be pushed to this central repository push so that your new file and your commit id will be coming into in this repository this is how it will work let's do the practice let me clear the screen as of now i am in which local repository mumbai git local repository first you just come out how, how can you come out cd space double dot or this is our local repository i am not inside of this folder i already came outside from this folder Right now, I am a ECT-user. 
let me open github here you can see just to select hari 25 cs so many repositories here you can see so many repositories here you can see for example see all these are repositories one repository means one project sample web app is one repository time tracker is another repository so 7 pm my cookbooks this is one more repository like this as of now let me select this one once if i select it will open like this this is the name for this repository instead of this repository you can see so these are the folders here you can see this symbol folder symbol and these are the files like this total 12 commit ids are available if you want to find out the url here you just select code https this is the url ari 25 cs slash 7 pm my cookbooks my cookbooks even last you can see dot git this is the url now what i will do is i would like to perform clone operation if you want to perform clone operation you just select this url how can you select you can see one symbol you just select this symbol automatically copy otherwise manually also you can copy by selecting this once after copying here you just execute one simple command git clone git clone there i have copied that url here just to right click that's it git clone clone operation i am going to perform once if i execute once if i press enter button what will happen my repository name is 7 pm my cookbooks with this repository name one folder will be created where instead of this easy typhoon user folder this folder will be created instead of this folder whatever the files whatever the folders are available here you can see all those files all those folders will be available instead of this folder let me press enter just to press enter this is how you, we can perform clone cloning operation very very simple git to clone that you are that's it successfully we have done here you can see 100% 100% everything we got it once if i type ls here you can see with this name with this repository name one folder got created instead of this folder go inside cd 7 just press tab here just type ls you can see for you can see files you can see some folders if i type if i type ls hyphen a you can see hidden things also even here you can see dot git folder dot git folder also you can see okay i mean everything we have done we have done cloning operation once after completing this cloning operation what you can do let's imagine you have seen all these files in case if you want to open for example if you want to open how can you open yes with the help of cat command you can open otherwise va otherwise vam otherwise nano with the help of these commands with the help of these commands you can open any file correct or not you can see the data let's see. let's see let's imagine that you understood according to your work requirement you want to create one file for example i am writing i would like to create one file cat for example joh john this name is not available already so with this name i would like to create one file cat greater than john just to present for example data you can write something like this hello what kind of code we have to write i will tell you at the time of explaining about ansible so here our concentration is how we are managing the code okay not how to write the code how we are manage in case if you are already having the code hello chat like this i have written all right given how about press enter control d 
successfully we have written we have written something instead of this file once after writing if i execute get status here you can see as of now this file is untracked file untracked file means git doesn't know anything about this file along with the data as of now this is in workspace when git can track this file once if you send this file from workspace to staging area once if you execute add operation i would like to perform add operation git add dot either you can give dot otherwise even you can give john okay fine git add john just press enter git status if you want to perform if you want to verify status here you can see git already started tracking about this file along with the data git already took the snapshot for this file right now this file along with the data which is available there in this staging area now i would like to perform add operation i would like sorry not add already we have done add operation now i would like to perform commit get to commit hyphen new total how many commit ids are available before committing git log hyphen hyphen one line so many commit ids are available you just observe this many commit ids these are these are five commit ids and these are another five total 10 12 commit ids are available correct here how many commit ids you can see 12 commit ids now i would like to perform commit git commit give a mmi git commit hyphen a commit message you can give you can write something for example this is john file just press enter Here you can see one file, two insertions. Two insertions means two lines I have written. That is the meaning of two insertions. Total here thirteen committees. Here you can see total thirteen committees. Correct. Now I would like to push. How to push? Once if I push, before pushing twelve committees, but after pushing, you can see one more extra committee here. You can see. See, this folder is related to this repository. It is like this. Git push origin master m a s t r master. Just press enter. You have to provide username. Complete this. Complete complete this website. We have one username. one username and one token token means that is a password hari 25 cs at the rate gmail.com just press enter next token number where you can see here this is the token we have generated you just open control a control c next come back control right click right click means paste just press enter Successfully, I have pasted here. Did you observe? Hundred percent. That means completely we have sent local repository master to central repository master. You just come here. Before refreshing, you can see twelve twelve commit IDs. After refreshing, here you can see total thirteen commit IDs. Like this, very well you can perform. Here you can see this is our file we have created. This is John file. Just when just two minutes ago. Here you can see two minutes ago. This is the two minutes ago latest commit ID we can see. This is how it will work. You can do clone after that. You, if you want to create a new file, very well you can create new file. Please concentrate here. Workflow. Git workflow. Now I will tell you. Previously what we have done. I mean, if two people are working. If two people are working for the project, what was the flow we have seen? Now here, if more than two people, this is the flow. Work flow. Work flow of 
git. Here you can take three people, otherwise thirty people, otherwise three hundred people. You can take any number of any number of people. Okay, any number of people working in this project. You just take any number. Whether three or thirty or three hundred, it could be some other number. But the concept is exactly same. Listen carefully here. This is computer here. Computer here. Computer here means one person is working here. Let's imagine that person name is Y. Y person is working here. Next here, person B is working. Let's imagine. Person B is working. Next here, person C is working. Here you can you can take three people, otherwise any number of people, maybe ten, maybe twenty. Concept is same. Person C is working here. Okay. Next, this is central deposit. Central depository called X. Okay, X is the central deposit. Let's imagine. Person A. Person A created one file. Instead of instead of this computer, this is one file. For example, test. Once after creating one file, he has written some data instead of this file. Who person A written some data? After that, what he will do? Already you know. First we have to add and all those things. Central repository URL we have to add to local repository. All these things you know. Once after adding, what he will do? He will push. He will push. Once after pushing, that that file, that file along with the data will be coming into in this central repository. Okay. Next, before start writing the code by B as well as C, what they have to do first of all, they have to pull. First, they have to pull. After joining the company also, before start writing, every day morning after going to office, first you have to pull. Okay. After pulling only, you have to perform new operations. I mean, maybe creating file, modifying some data, everything. First, we have to pull. Let's imagine here, person B is pulling, P U L L. Once after pulling, whatever the code which is available in front of, whatever the code which that file, that file along with the data came, came into person B computer. As well as C, C person also is pulling, P U L L. Once after pulling, that file along with the data is coming to computer C. Okay. Hmm. Let's imagine now person B is writing something here. Yeah. Person B is writing some code. Once after pulling on top of that existing code, person B is writing some code. After pulling, after pulling C, on top of that existing code, C is writing some other code. Okay. C is writing some other code. Person B is writing some code. Person C is writing some other code. Let's imagine. With milliseconds gap, with milliseconds gap, let's imagine here, person B pushed, person B pushed that code to this central deposit. Person B pushed that code to central deposit. Here you just observe colors. B below below this code he has written this code. I mean pink color. You just observe pink color. Colors you just observe with the milliseconds gap. Person B already pushed. Already pushed. That is available here. After that, immediately, person C is trying to push. Let's imagine. 
person C is trying to push. At the time of trying to push, what he will get? He will get error. At the time of at the time of pushing, person C is getting error. Why he is getting error? Because because whatever the code, whatever the code which is available in this central repository, that code is not available with instead of this computer in his computer. What are the code which is available in the central repository? That code is not available with him. Who C? That is the reason C person is getting error at the time of pushing. Please, please concentrate, guys. Everything is very, very important. This is not like a 10th class or intermediate or beating for doing some kind of time pass. This is completely purely job-oriented course. Till you get the job, till you change your company. Very, very important, each and every class. At the time of pushing the code, he is getting error. Why he is getting error? Whatever the code which is a whatever the code which is available in the central repository, that code is not available with him. Instead of, instead of this file, that code is not available. Okay, that is the reason person C is getting error. First, again, what he has to do, okay, you have to understand like this. Whenever you are trying to push the code. In, if you get error, if you get if you get error, what kind of error means? You, you can get some error. Okay. Once if you get error, what you have to understand? Okay. Whatever the code which is available in the central repository, that code is not available with me. That is the reason. First, I have to perform pull operation. Then here, yeah, see what he has to do instead of pushing. First, he has to perform pull operation. First, he has to perform pull operation. Sorry. Hmm. First, he has to perform pull. At the time of pulling, what he will get? He will get conflict. At the time of pulling, he is getting conflict. Why? First, you can see this color. Here also, you can see this color. Okay. I mean, color means code here. Below this color, you can see here pink color. But here, see written yellow color. At the time of pulling, I mean, at the time of you are pulling this code, here it is getting confusion. Hey, hey, person, see, where do you want to, where do you want me to put this code? Do you want me to put this code above? yellow color, otherwise below yellow color, otherwise do you want me to override this yellow color with this pink color code? Git is getting confusion. That confusion only here we call it as conflict. So in this scenario, first what he has to do at the time of pushing, here I am writing, pushing he is getting error. At the time of pull, P U L L. He is getting conflict. At the time of getting conflict, what he has to do? Okay. First, he has to identify that. First, here, what he has to do? He has to identify that. Who written that code? What he has to do? Who written the score? Code written by person B. Code written by person B. C, C person, C. He is one, he is one software engineer, he is another software engineer. He is writing some code and C is writing some, C is, C is also working. He is writing code, he is also writing the code. This code written by person B. That is the reason. Person C, first he has to talk to this person B. Let's imagine you are one DevOps engineer, I am another DevOps engineer. I have written one logic, you have written Another, another logic. At the time of pulling, I am getting conflict. So immediately what I will do here, I will talk to you. Hey, you have written this code. I have written this code. We both are, we both are developers. I mean, we know where to keep what kind of code. Once after talking with B, 
So finally, we have decided that first we have to put after this blue color, first after this blue color, we have to put this pink, pink color. After pink, we have to we have to keep this yellow color. After discussing, we have decided like this. So here, at the time of getting conflict, what you have to do manually, you have to open that file. In that file, below this blue color, you just put pink color written by B. After pink color, you just put your code. Okay. Here you already arranged. I mean, you got the conflict. You after discussing with person B, you have decided that you people decided that this is the order we have to put the code. Once after keeping like this, then finally, now what you are doing, now you are going to perform push operation. Now you will be performing push. P -U -S -H. Once you already arranged data here, correct or not? So once after pushing, exactly the data will be coming into here. So after that, let's imagine before start writing the code by J, what he has to do, first he has to pull. First he has to pull. So he is, he is trying to pull. That means whatever the code which is available instead of this file, that code exactly will be coming to coming into person yes computer. So this is how it will work. Only you just remember guys, first we have to pull. Okay. At the time of pulling, if you are getting any conflict, you just talk to that person. That is the reason in companies that every day we have stand-up meetings. Every day we have stand-up meetings, sync-up meetings, scrum meetings. In that meetings, generally we discuss what we have done. Yesterday, what we have done. Today, what we are going to do. Hmm? Like that. Status. If you are getting, if you are getting any conflict, you just talk to that person. So that after that you can resolve. Only remember these things. At the time of pushing, if you are getting an, if you are getting error means, whatever the code which is available in that central repository, that code is not available with you. That is the reason you are getting error. In that scenario, what you have to do? Stop pushing. You have to start pulling. At the time of pulling, if you are getting conflict, you just talk to that developer. You just talk to that person. And then resolve that conflict. After resolving conflict, so successfully everything will be everything will be okay. And then you can push. If you take three people, if you take hundred people, also same scenario. Okay, the same scenario. Yeah. See, everything is like a sync up. Yeah. And everything after that, for example, B before start writing the code by B. First, what he has to do, he has to pull. At the time of pulling, already this yellow code, below this pink color code, yellow code is available. So that code will be coming into here. It is like a sync up. I mean, synchronizing the data. That is the meaning of distributed version control system, Git. I mean, complete, complete code is available here and here and here. In each and every one's computer. And one more thing you have to understand. This is very, very important, guys. Once if you enter instead of one software company, you can see so many people. Correct or not? Let's imagine in our company, in our project, we have eight people. Okay, our team says. Let's imagine eight DevOps engineers are available. Why company recruited eight people? Did you observe? Because those many resources we need for completing that work. It is not here. I have explained only one file. Do you think eight people, they work on only one file? Only one logic? Do you think so? No. This is completely wrong. If eight people are working on same file, what is the purpose of recruiting eight people? That is completely lost for my company, for my project. Correct or not? Here, yeah. just I have explained only one file. But in companies, eight people means you work on one file, you create one file, you write one logic. According to my requirement, I create another file. According to my work, I write some other logic. Like this, eight people, they work on different, different files. 
For example, eight developers. He is working on this file. He is some other working on this file. Some other working on this file. Like that, eight people they are working on different different files, different different logics. In that scenario, first of all, we will not get here. Yeah. This is only one file. That is the reason we are getting these problems. If a file complete file name itself is a different, then we will not get. At the time of pulling, how many files are available in the central repository? All those files will be coming into computer A, computer B, computer C. After that, if you want to modify, you can modify. Otherwise, you can create a new file and you can work. It is it is like this. Okay. So this is Git workflow. If you consider three people, if you consider hundred people, same work scenario. We only you just remember at the time of pushing. If you are getting any error, that means whatever the data which is available in that central repository, that data is not available with you. That is the reason you are getting error. In that scenario, stop pushing. First, you have to start pulling. You just start pulling. In case if you are getting conflict, you just talk to the developer. You just reserve. After that, you just push. After joining the company, first every day we have to pull. After that only push. Okay, that is a blind rule. Okay, that is a default rule. First we have to pull. That's it. Let's do. Yeah. As of now, I am in which folder? This folder. I mean, which repository? Seven PM Microbook repository. CD double dot. Once if I type ls. Here you can see something like this. Now I would like to enter instead of Mumbai Gate. Go inside. For example, here these many files are available. This is which month? February. Correct, Anna? No? I would like to create something. That greater than F U B Feb one. This is February one. For example, control this. Next, cat greater than February two. This one, you see, February two. Sorry. Control D. Like this, I have created some files. Otherwise, maybe VA. With the help of VA, February three. This is Feb three. Escape colon W two. Just press enter. Like this, how many files we have created? Three files. Here you can see Feb one, Feb two, Feb three. Once if I execute, get the status. Yeah, these are the three files. These are three files are untracked files. Now I would like to add. Hit add dot. Dot means here it will consider these three files at a time. For these three files, it will take only one single snapshot. Dot means it will consider all files, all untracked files. How many files are available instead of this Mumbai Git folder? It will consider all those files. Yes, it already took the snapshot for these three files. If you want to verify, Git status. Here you can see for these three files, Git already took the snapshot. Git already started tracking about these three files. Now I would like to commit. Git, Git commit. Hyphen new. Here you can see this is commit message. Commit message. For example, th. Yeah, you can write anything. Three files. Okay, there are the three files. Three files are, for example, important. Okay. Always try to give. Meaningful, meaningful commit message so that you can understand it clearly. Something I have written. Three files are IMP. I mean, it is like a import. For these three files, only one commit ID got generated because in one single shot, I have committed these three files. Did you observe that one? Git log hyphen hyphen one line. If I execute this command, here you can see three files. R I M P. I have written. If you want to see these three file names and what is the content which is available instead of these three files, what you have to do? You have to refer this commit ID. It show that commit ID. You just copy. 
you just copy and you just paste. Instead of this commit ID, you can see three files. This is the commit message done by this person. One, one file name is February 1. This is the data which is available. Second file name is February 2. This is the data which is available. Third file name is February 3. If you see like this, what is the meaning? Still, we have some more lines to show. Once if you press enter, it will show. This is the, this is the data which is available. And finally, it is saying that end. That means there is nothing to display. Just press Q. That means we will come out. This is how it will work. Once after creating one file, if you do commit process for that commit ID will be representing only that particular file. Once after creating 50 files, otherwise 10 files, if you, if you do that commit process, when the, that particular commit ID will be representing all those 10 files. Okay. That is how it will work. I hope it is clear. See guys, almost we have completed this Git. I mean, 80 percent, 80 percent of Git we have completed. Remaining 20 percent, remaining 20 percent Git is these remaining 20 percent. It is like a so many confusion topics are available. Those confusion topics, if I explain in our regular class. I mean here, these 20% of confusion topics will be, will, I mean, I can say like this, will get a confusion. I mean, if I explain this 20 percentage, now here, it will damage your existing Git knowledge. So that is the reason, this 20 percentage of Git, later I will explain. I mean, once after completing all our DevOps tools, then I will explain about this 20% of Git. Meanwhile, you can do hands-on practice. You will get so much of confidence. You can understand easily and clearly all these Git concepts. As of now, we have completed 80% of Git. Remaining 20% pending topics. Once after completing all our DevOps tools, I will explain. Even in our projects also, we will use. These 20 percentage, why I am skipping here? These are the most confusion topics. If I explain all these things here, it will damage your existing Git knowledge. So that is the reason I don't want to explain as of now. Not only for your batch, for each and every batch, this 20 percentage, this 20 percent. Later, generally, I explain. Okay. See, it is not like how much I am explaining. It is like, it is very, very important that how much you are understanding, how much you are grasping. That is a very, very important point. Okay. Later, we will see this 20 percentage. Okay. As of now, we have completed this kit. From tomorrow onwards, we will start Docker. From tomorrow onwards, we will start Docker. This is also very, very important. Please attend each and every class. Don't miss. In case if you don't have time, if you don't, if you don't have time, at least once after receiving this recording video, please go through that recording video two to three times, even do the practicals two to two, two, three times so that you can understand clearly. So, okay, guys, this is all about our today's class. Git we have completed. Pending topics we'll discuss later. In case if you don't have any doubts, you can skip this meeting. If you're having any doubts, stay here. I will clarify all your doubts. Yeah, yes, yes, Kamala. It's already 9.30, yes, correct. Yeah, we have completed class. I told you, right, some of the topics for explaining, it will take a little bit more time. In case if you don't have any doubts, you can skip this meeting. 
Yes, I have given permission. Did you understand, guys? Whatever we have discussed in our today's class, please respond. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Sir. Yes, yes, please. Yes, please. Sir, in starting, yes, we said that uh, Git concept, uh, we can transfer the file from one computer one computer to one to another computer. That's one instance to another instance. Ha, huh, yes, yes. So, generally, generally we don't do like this. Okay. Always, always you have to take the files. Otherwise, always you have to push pull operations. Yes. With the help of central depository one. Okay. Normally also, see, from computer A to computer B, yes, that is absolutely possible. How to do at the time of explaining about Ansible, I will, I will show you. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. yeah. Hello, sir. Hello. Yes, yes, please. Yes, I am Shogumar, sir. Sir, yesterday while I am practicing. Ah, yes, yes, Chaban. Git bash also, I will show you. Hmm? Git bash. How to download, how to install, how to work with Git bash, everything I will show you. Ankush, are you understanding? Yeah, yeah, Hari. Uh, okay, all right. Now, now someone was trying to say something. Yes, please continue. Yes, yes, Shogumar, sir. Yes, hi, Siva. Yes, please. Yes, hi, sir. Uh, yesterday while I am practicing with GitHub, sir, some of the changes I have. Uh, changed in GitHub, sir. Okay. And I have committed in the GitHub site, sir, not in uh, uh, Linux, like uh, whatever the uh, open command prompt. Uh -huh. So that is the problem. While I am pushing from the uh, local repository to central repository, it, uh, it, it's saying that like we have unfinished work in central repository and uh, it's, it's showing like that message, sir. Yes, yes, not, yes. Correct, correct. Yes, I am getting yeah. that error, sir. So that ah. is the reason I have created one more repository and I am working with that. Whether my old repository will work or not with that uh, git, sir. Yeah, what you can do is older repository also will work. But sir. whatever the files, whatever the, I mean, half of the work you have done, I mean, not yet committed, just try to delete those files. Otherwise, better to delete that repository. Better to delete a uh, complete repository, sir. Ha, yes, better to delete that complete repository. Okay, sir. Okay. So every time it is asking the same, sir, while I'm going to pushing that content. Huh? Ah, yes, sir. Uh, so, uh, or, else, or else I do like any pull operation from the master to local repository? No, as of now, you just delete that repository. Sir. Okay. okay. You just delete that repository and you just do all these practicals, whatever we have done, whatever I have explained in our classes from starting to till today. Okay. Once after practicing so many times, so you will get very good knowledge. After that, you can do R&D. Okay? Creating oh, okay. some other branches, pushing and pulling. Okay. Sir, one, one uh, uh, personal token, one is enough for that GitHub, sir, or else for every repository, we have to generate one token ID. No, no, not required. Only one token, one username. One okay. username and one token is completely enough for that complete your GitHub account. Okay, sir. Yeah, even uh, I think that uh, we, we, we need to create one more. It, it asked for the revoke, sir. Then I, I revoked it and I created one more new token ID, sir. That is uh, the reason no, I'm asking. Okay. 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 okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, all right. Okay. Yeah. Clearly, are you understanding, guys, everything? Are you getting any confusion? Yes, sir. Are you getting confusion? No, sir. No, no, no sir. No. no, no. Okay. Everything, it is clear. Hmm? While practicing, we are getting doubts, sir. <laughs> correct. Okay. Correct. That is natural. Not only for you. For example, if I am in your place, obviously, I also can get so many doubts because completely this is a new Linux operating system. That too, these DevOps tools are pretty much new for everyone. Yes. Getting confusion, getting doubts, that is natural and common. So okay. don't take any tension. You just keep on practice multiple times. If you are getting any problems, I am here to resolve all your problems. Okay. Sir, one more, one last suggestion. Sir. All yes, you can ask me all your doubts. Yes, 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 please. Sir, uh, could you please uh, like create a WhatsApp batch for this batch, sir? Like uh, what is Actually, what I say? Yeah, please don't mind. Sir. Uh, creating, creating Facebook groups, creating Instagram, otherwise WhatsApp groups, it is not, it is not allowed. I mean, this is not, the, these things will not be coming under professional way. Okay. Okay. Here, even just I am a teacher in this institution. Okay. In this society, me training institution, I am just a trainer. So, what are the uh, rules? What are the protocols? Uh, admin team they are following. So, we have to we have to follow. Sorry for that one. Okay. O okay. Directly, sir. directly you can ask me. No problem. Okay. Directly sir. you can send WhatsApp messages. Hmm? 
okay. at the time even did you observe guys so at the time of giving at the time of clarifying your doubts actually from morning to evening i am completely full busy morning i have classes evening i have classes middle i have office work that is the reason even i am sending a uh, voice recording messages did you observe yes, yes sir yes sir yeah. uh, you people just type type that complete your doubt so if i have if i have typing time then i can type very well otherwise i can send whatsapp voice recording messages you just listen so that you can understand otherwise in our regular classes you can ask all your doubts so that i can clarify even i can show you practically it is like this yes okay, sir. sir yes sir thank you thank you sir okay guys have a nice day all of you we'll meet tomorrow okay sir have a nice thank day everyone you. thank you sir. please do the practice once after practicing please stop your instincts okay hmm? okay guys have a nice day everyone